comments. Um, I haven't prepared anything beforehand. I've actually been very aware of the fact that something about to soak in my mouth. Um, very likely enemies can be made and certainly lose respect for members of the public. Um, but if there's one thing I've, if there's one phrase or quote that I've come to appreciate while serving in public office, that is, if you find yourself making everyone happy all the time, you're doing something wrong. Um, so being said, uh, just out of curiosity, is there any people here who are uh, employees of the Relay Power? They're still here. I show of hands. I'm assuming they were here before, right? A couple. Um, I wanted to ask because I, I first wanted to extend an apology to them. Um, I feel they have been used and misrepresented immensely in this debate. Um, for whatever reason, they have been targeted and have been suggested that we do not admire nor do we respect the work they do. Um, that, those statements made earlier about members or, or employees of human like power feeling discouraged, feeling unappreciated, feeling that their value isn't recognized, couldn't be further from the truth. And the issues that we face and we've been discussing have nothing to do with them, but have to do with management. Um, if there's one thing I'd like to put to rest is that myself, nor do I think anyone else has ever suggested or has discredited any of the, the non-management of human and power. Um, so I'd like to put that to rest. I, I would like to see that they're no longer used as a target to change the conversation or to uh, dismiss actions from others. Um, being said, in light of this resolution, the one thing that um, I've had concerns over, personally, is, as, as, was, as was commented earlier by Mayor Collins, I have not had the opportunity to serve on the Human Rights Power Board. Um, matter of fact, one of the reasons even running for office uh, three years ago was in, was in response to some of the actions made by the board. So going into this, Discussion, those matters pertaining to human right power have been somewhat of a pervasive issue over these last few years. It seems to be something that just doesn't go away. And as such, it's put us in a position where, on one hand, we hear comments such as, we are doing the best we can, we are a, an amazing company, um, just don't ask us questions. And I fear that because of that response, it's created a great deal of mistrust. And if there's one thing I can comfortably, st comfortably state is that I am not here representing my own beliefs, but I am here representing an overwhelming response from the public asking for answers and asking for help, asking for some kind of, of response as to why things have happened. And unfortunately, there hasn't been at least historically a lot of response. There has been absolutely no interest, at least on my behalf, to try and change the management uh, structure to bring that into the city as, as has been suggested by quite a few people. Um, there is no interest whatsoever to make this a uh, city utility. Uh, first of all, that simply cannot happen. The way that it's structured, the city couldn't bring it in and make it a utility while still providing service to other entities. So I hope that isn't something that people will continue to believe. Um, we have tried to state numerous times even in the course of this, the, the, the passing of this resolution in question that has been asked to be rescinded, 
that we recognize we have no authority whatsoever to dictate how management at the Alliant Power should perform. Uh, we have stated that numerous times. Um, we do not recognize we have any power to suggest or force the Alliant Power to do anything. Um, so again, I hope that's another issue that can be put to rest. But as a utility pair in this valley, we're left with very few options. Normally in a business, if we're unhappy with the service or we feel that there is a lack of confidence in that service, many times you have the option to choose a different service or buy a different product and cast our, our discouragement with that product through our, through our wallets. We don't have that luxury in the valley. Human Life Power is the only utility we have the choice to use. And so yes, at times there are very difficult questions that need to be asked. There are questions that the public wants an answer to. And the only thing I can think of could possibly be more draconian or could possibly thwart our basic constitutional rights to ask these questions. The only thing worse I can think of is if that entity would try to sue people to keep their mouths shut. I certainly would hope that wouldn't be the case with a company like Human Life Power. So being said, the hope for all of this was to create a discussion, to create a dialogue, not to create enemies, not to suggest that we do not respect, nor do we feel that the employees of Human Life Power are not doing their job. After years of public outcry, we simply have questions that we would like to answer. Um, this resolution has been drafted as um, was referred to earlier is an attempt to continue that dialogue. Is an, an attempt to ensure that we can rebuild that confidence with this utility. Because at the end of the day, we just don't have any other choice. It's the only utility we've got. And if we're all going to work together, we need to find a way so that we can have, an ability, have the ability to ask difficult questions and not feel that we're going to be harassed, not feel that we're going to be discouraged, or even in a community like ours, have our characters 